while Mel is actually running all the errands in town, taking Abe to the dentist appointment and all that, I'm going to get back on cutting these zip boards, getting them ready, and prepped for the actual side panels itself. I'm going to have a lot of fun with that, and then I'll get everything prepped so I can get it flashed and everything, and then by the time that Melanie gets back, we should be able to be ready to put everything on the side and actually close it in. excited for your dentist appointment? Yeah, and I'm really, and I'm kind of scared. Why are you scared? Because I've never had my teeth drilled. Well, they're going to be very easy on you. I know that for sure. Those they're numbing. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to be too hard on you, buddy. to our first stop of the day, which is the post office. I've got to pay for our P.O. box for the next year, because you got to pay for it a year at a time. Uh, so yeah, total damages for one year for a P.O. box, in case anybody was wondering. Ouch. Oh my gosh, guys, it is a hot one today. There is a nice breeze, but it's still miserable outside. And Biggie still does not have a working air conditioner. On a positive note, um, we should be getting the parts very, very soon. We actually ordered all the parts necessary so Gary can fix the air conditioner on Biggie. Finally, after two years of not having an AC, it's been miserable. But hopefully this might be, uh, this might just be my last trip to town to run errands without a working air conditioner. Our next stop is going to be the assessor's office which is something that's totally different for us. Um, usually whenever we had to do like vehicle registration renewals and stuff like that uh, in Arizona and also in Nevada, the only two places I've ever had a driver's license, um, they do it all in the DMV office. Well, out here in Arkansas, you actually have to go to an assessor's office and they have to do like a property assessment first. And then after your property is assessed, then you go down to the state revenue office and that's where you pay for the DMV. It's, it's definitely a little different and it took some learning and some getting used to, uh, but we figured it out last year and it worked. And so now we're just hoping we could, I guess, figure out how renewals go because last year was like an initial registration and it was a, a bit more complicated with more paperwork. I'm assuming that this year should be a lot easier but uh, we're about to find out. So next stop, the assessment office. All right, well, we made it to our local assessor's office. This is actually the courthouse of Southern District Logan County. It's pretty, actually. It's a pretty cool looking building, huh? Yeah. 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 It's actually a two-story. 
Uh, yeah, it is a two-story, two-story brick. Hey, we know how long blocks take. How long do you think it took them to build this place? Like five, like ten. Forever, ten. huh? Ten, ten years. Forever. Ten, ten days. All right. Ten years. Ten days. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. All right, well, I'm going to find where I need to go and handle this business. We'll chat with you here in just a minute. All right, well, we just finished up the assessor's office, got all that done, and now I got like 10 minutes to get Abe to the dentist, so we're going to haul ass over there and uh, make our next stop be Abraham's dental appointment. You ready for the dentist? Yeah. Yeah? Get your seatbelt on, son. Well, we just pulled up to Abe's dentist office. So let's go on in and uh, get those teeth worked on, son. You excited? Yeah. All right. Don't be scared. Abraham, are you ready? <gasps> it's your turn. It's your turn. You be brave, okay? Okay. Well, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put some numb and jelly, okay? Okay. Deal? And then once I put once I put that on there here in a few minutes, we're gonna tap your forehead. How high can you count? Can you count really high? I can count 400. Oh my right goodness. Then. Okay, so that should work. So she's gonna tap, and you're gonna have to close your eyes, okay, and okay. open your mouth, and we're gonna see if you can count as many times as she taps. Still, okay. start counting. And keep start counting, counting and stay feel... super duper still, okay, buddy? Good. 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 Keep counting. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, I'm going to wash it out because it does not taste very good. Good boy. Okay, what number did you get? What number did you count to? Give a number. Forget. What do you think it was? What do you think it was? Did you count to 20? 50? What did you count to? I You're not going to talk to me? I think 80. 80? Wow. You can count fast. Is it all numb? It's like tingly. Tingly? Yeah. But it doesn't hurt, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it does hurt, or no, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt. I was afraid getting my teeth drilled was gonna hurt. Easy peasy? Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I am utterly exhausted. We've got the uh, truck loaded down, ready to go. All of the goodies are in the back home and unload it all and uh, catch up with Gary and see how his day's been going. It's been a good day though. What do you think, Gabe? Good day. How's your mouth feel? Good. Yeah, uh, it's already almost five o'clock. By the time that I get home, it will be five. There will be a couple more hours of sunlight, but again, I got to put everything home and do some cooking, so 
this might be all I get done today. I'm not sure. But either way, it's been a really good day today. And uh, it's been nice being able to spend time with the kiddos and get out and go to town and get some, lots of important things done. So definitely a good day. What's going on you guys? What's going on? Well we're back down at the job site and uh, we really want to get working on this and putting it in. Yes. We want to be out of working in the sun and into working in the basement. So we got a little things we got to finish up. Um, the last I left off on some of this build, Gary had just gone and cut all the edges off yep. and he was working on cutting all of these zipboard systems into length yep. and into the size that's needed. And I was working with the caulking, and I actually had ran out of caulking, but nice. we got more materials on site. I'm gonna get up there and start working with the caulking again and get that completed. There's not much left for me to do. So what are you gonna get done while I quickly get that? So I'm gonna get everything prepped for the flashing in between the actual foam and the seal plates. Okay. And then uh, get everything prepped up for the uh, zip system. Okay. So we should be getting that zip roller today. Yeah, we're still waiting for that tool. Can you believe it, guys? Like, it was supposed to be delivered on Monday. Today is Wednesday, and we're still waiting. Yeah. So we're Have working on closing this thing in, guys. We're going to just keep plugging ahead um, day at a time. Yeah. Oh my goodness, finally, finally. You guys see that in the background? UPS guy is finally here. And I know exactly what's on his truck. We've been waiting and waiting for this darn roller and it's finally here. Thank God, because we are right about ready to uh, install that zip board. So no roller? No roller. I'm very, very upset right now because it said that it was supposed to be coming today don't understand it at all but okay well i'm gonna be contacting amazon customer service here soon because yep. this is getting ridiculous i don't know what the hell is going on i don't either well we're gonna have to just keep <clears throat> plugging away and do as much as we can without the roller i guess i don't know what's going on you guys what's going on well we got a little bit of that hair dryer wind going on today yes it's very hot Humid. We've been saying that pretty much every day. Yep. <laughs> but uh, yesterday we actually were able to finish all of the caulking and Gary got all of the rest of the cuts done. Plus he kind of had to makeshift a little something something. I'm not sure if the, uh, the camera was dead or not when he was doing that. So let's show you really quick uh, what he got done yesterday. What's going on over here? So basically what ended up happening is we are square from corner to corner but we are not plumb 100% on the sides this way or that way. Basically, I filled it in where it's gonna be plumb and everything and made it to where it's gonna actually sit right and everything, and then I can get these on there. Once I get up to the top, top part um, and everything else, it will be fine because I'm gonna have bands coming up to where I can actually attach this portion up to the top portion, as well as in between the second and the uh, main floor itself will actually have bands as well. So that's gonna basically hold it to where, so it doesn't scissor back and forth. <laughs> I just dealt with what I had and uh, we're gonna make it do. Yeah, make and <laughs> the jo this joist on the outside was actually always a little bit um, like warped and wonky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is what it is. I mean, 
Might have, should have, could have seen it and thought about it and put it somewhere in the center, but oh well. It's all right. I mean, it is what it is. We're going to make it to where it works. We'll also have a flashing over it and everything else, so it will be perfectly fine when we do get the sheathing in between and everything else. So right now what we got to do is we got to flash from here to here. So the flashing in between from here to here is going to create, once we do this board down and on, it makes it to where any water that does end up collecting right here isn't going to seep back behind there. It's not going to be able to come up that difference right there. It's going to flow down. And then once that's all said and done right there, we're also going to come back around and seam this to this itself. But it makes it to where no water can get into the backside. All right. All right, so we've got to try to do half and half. All right. And I did do this portion yesterday as well. Just that little yeah. piece on both sides so that way this doesn't flap around no more. So we're gonna overlay. This stuff is freaking sticky. It's like tar paper. Mm -hmm. Jump on up there and try to reach out as far as you can and get it on this back side. Right. And then we're gonna come, okay. yeah, we're gonna come this way with it. like to take a second and say thank you so much to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. They helped us so much for today's progress. I can't thank them enough for helping us out today and sponsoring this video. Check this out you guys. With all the hard work we do out here on the mountain, it's very important to us to have a very nutritional and tasty breakfast. 
Magic Skin cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, four to five net grams of carbs, and only 140 calories per serving. Their variety pack comes with four amazing flavors. They're keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and taste delicious. We absolutely love the fruity. I can't believe that something this healthy tastes this good. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money with no questions asked. So click the link below and use the code SLR for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com SLR to save five bucks today. Magic Spoon is awesome, it tastes amazing, and it really helps us to have the energy that we need to keep going out here. Yes. So we want to say thank you again so much to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. We really appreciate it, guys. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out the products, we pinned a comment down in the comment section below, and we also put it in the description below. So make sure to use the promo code SLR at checkout and get your $5 off of your order. And I uh, hope you guys like it. We love it. So thanks again, Magic Spoon. Now back to your guys' video. All right, well, we got the flashing done around the entire building. So now we're going to start actually putting on the zip boards. Yep. So we're just going to start over here in this corner, get our way over there, and go on around. And then there is going to be four pieces that I'm going to have to cut, as well as two that I'm going to have to get a hole cut out for the power and everything else. So. Yeah. We'll uh, get everything that we can get done done, and uh, we'll get those holes cut out, and it should be done today. Yay! You ready? Yeah, let's get it. Let's do it. This piece is gonna, how we gotta go is we're going right underneath here. We flush with that back part. Okay. We'll start with one screw on, the, on your top corner, and I'll do this top corner.
guys we did it yes she is fully enclosed yep it is dark like no tomorrow inside the basement now yeah <laughs> <laughs> only the front room has a little bit of light um in fact let's show you guys what we're talking about no you guys might not be able to see much but hey this is the front room and the only reason why it has any light is because of the doors and the windows yep and then the back which we've showed you so many times in video it's dark in here Echo, echo, echo. Yeah. yeah, well enough of that. Let's get out of here so we could actually show you something. But it is definitely dark and cool inside the basement. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to next week when we are actually gonna be working inside that sucker. Yes. Can't wait. Yeah. It's gonna be super nice. Super nice. And we'll be able to start actually framing out stuff and it'll start feeling like uh all the plans that we've had in our mind are finally <laughs> It's going to start to like come for, to fruition. Yep. So guys, a couple of things. We were not able to finish everything that we needed to do with this zipboard system yep. because that darn tool that we've been waiting all week for never came. So what we need that tool to do is actually right here on the edges where the black meets the green, there's another set of flashing that goes right there. And then it also goes up where all the boards connected. Uh, we will be doing the liquid flash on the top portion, connecting the subflooring to the outside. Um, yep. Yeah. And then we will also be getting some metal flashing that's gonna go on the outer side and that's gonna flash basically before all the walls and everything and having the actual walk around deck, it will also allow that to be flashed before everything. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of flashing <laughs> that I need to do, but it's... Are you going to get a trench coat? Right. You're going to be the great yeah. flasher? <laughs> That'd be funny. That would be hilarious. It's going good though. Honestly, I'm really happy. Yeah, I'm super happy too. Wish we had that roller. Yep. Because I would already had it done in a sense. It is what it is. Yeah, say la vie. Say la vie. We got what we got done. Yep. I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it too. 
So some of you guys might be wondering um, if that's it for the top, if we are done with all the waterproofing. No. Not quite. We are super close, but not quite. We have to roll on the Kills paint for the mold and mildew resistant waterproof stuff uh, on the top of the subflooring. And then we have to actually apply the plastic as well. Yes. We are going to be getting to that. We're just going to be getting to that at a later date because the weatherman says it's going to continue to be dry and hot and... We are tired of the dry and hot, and we're ready to, you know, work inside the basement. So mm -hmm. we're going to do what we can in there, come back to that. Hopefully, when we get the tool for the zipboard systems, it'll all be right around the same time. And uh, we'll be able to just finish up the yeah. top and just keep on slamming away on the underneath. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, it's hot. Yeah. And I can't wait to be working in there. It's getting closer. It's getting yes. closer. I can't wait to get big fans and just put them in the windows. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's going to be around. like amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh. I feel like all we've been talking about lately is how terrible the weather's been and how hot we are and just how we're always like, oh, I'm dying. But it's been really rough, guys. Yes. It's been super rough. Um, we're doing the best that we can, but I think that we completely kicked ass. Yes. So way to go, us. We got it enclosed, and that's uh. a huge milestone. So, yeah. yeah. We're... That much closer. That much closer. That much closer to get inside. Yeah. We are going to be back out here again tomorrow working on a few things. Uh, you guys are going to catch up with all of that on Monday. Yep. So we cannot wait to talk to you and see you guys then. Uh, but until then, guys, as usual, we love you all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later. It's amazing, right? Yes. Foundation is just about done. Uh, I'm excited. That's nice. I can't wait. I can't believe we did that. Nope. We did that, baby. We did it. It's amazing. Yep. And this next bit of work is going to be so much nicer because we're not going to be out in the angry sun. Have some fans going on. Oh. Nice. I can't wait. That'd I'm actually nice. excited to get this next bit of work done because I know it's not going to be nearly as treacherous as what we've just endured two summers in a row. Ugh. Hopefully we can do uh, all the framing in the fall. For that the nice. cabin, yeah. That would be really nice. That would be super nice. <laughs> that would be very, very nice.